Hi there, Aaron from S2S Communications. In last week's video, we had a lot of fun talking about cellular failover. We actually got a little complicated. So in this video, we're gonna keep it really simple. Okay, welcome back. Last week's video will be linked up here. If you wanna go check it out, we got really complicated, sort of complicated, definitely entertaining about how cellular failover can work. And in that one, we even discussed a dormant non-active SIM deployment. In this video, it's very simple, cellular failover. So your business probably relies on internet. It is 2020. If you have a business that doesn't rely on internet, just stop watching now. You could exit, go watch cat videos or something on YouTube. So here's your business, right? You've got the street, you've got a wire coming from the road. That's your internet. And in this day and age, it shouldn't be DSL. We'll talk about that video later. DSL's going away, guys. It's old copper technology. You may want to look at upgrading. So in this day and age, most businesses need a constant form of data to run their operation. So you have the landline coming off the road. It might be underground, it might be above ground, you never know. Comes into your building. What if something happens to that connection? It goes down. Whether it's a car crashes into the pole, hopefully everybody's okay. Obviously that's the most important, but your business is down. You can't run credit card transactions. You can't get to all that software you put in the cloud over the last couple of years. Everything's moving to the cloud this day and age. Email, CRM, point of sale system, restaurant menus, all that stuff's going up to the cloud. Well, without a good connection, you don't have access to it anymore. So the path to get to your cloud is via your internet, right? We could put a cloud over here, right? In order to get to that cloud, you need some type of connection. So a lot of people are starting to deploy cellular as a failover. We're not gonna get into how it's all programmed. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. But when you put in a modem that connects to your cable modem, right? Cable modem, cellular modem, you program those in a way, so if this falls down, the cellular line takes over. It, mainly any of the carriers, doesn't matter. We can help you figure that out. That's what would happen. The cellular modem and the configuration within inside your building would say, oh my goodness, internet is down. Let's go cellular. It's like a second path, right? It's kind of like a traffic cop. Let's think of it that way. It sits there, it wait. It's an insurance policy for your data connection. That's it, that's what it is. S2S communications, very simple, cellular failover will protect you if your landline internet ever stops working. If there's any more questions you might have, click the links below, maybe write a comment, comment back to all the comments here in YouTube. It's that simple. Anything you need, we're here to help. Hit the links below, head over to our website, take a look around. Maybe fill out the form and one of our team will reach back to you and help you kind of discuss your internet needs. That discussion's free at charge, guys. It's nothing. So just give us a call. We're here to help. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.